Hey, Jim Ramley here with the Real Estate Coach. I've got a question for you. Do you have a cause, something you're passionate about outside of real estate? A lot of agents and brokers do have a cause, but sometimes they don't communicate or connect with it within their real estate business. Here's an example in my own community. My company, uh, just this last weekend, was involved with something called Habitat for Humanity, and Habitat for Humanity is all across the country. You probably have several builds happening in your local community as well. And it's where we get together and we help uh, build a brand new home for low-income families so they can uh, enter the home ownership cycle. It's a great program, and you might check it out in your local community. But we had a lot of fun, 12 agents out there all participating in the build. And so why is this so important? It's important on a number of fronts. First of all, you're giving back to the community, but cause-based marketing can also be a, a huge boon for your business. And I'm gonna give you some stats around this really quickly. 86% of consumers believe that companies should take a stand on social issues. And when you don't, you're kind of creating a vacuum and your competitors might be filling that vacuum and you don't want that to happen. Americans also prioritize companies that are responsible. 86% of the time, they uh, believe that 85% of the time that they should be caring and then advocate for issues 81% of the time. So they want companies to care and advocate and be responsible companies. And here's another powerful uh, stat, which is this. Nearly two thirds of millennials and Gen Z express a preference for brands that have a point of view and stand for something. So to relate this to your real estate business, there's three key things you should think about doing. Number one is pick a cause. Pick a cause that you believe in, that you're passionate about. And second, don't be a silent support, supporter. Be a, an advocate, meaning you're out, you're out and you're standing up and you're talking about this uh, in your community, on social media, uh, within company events, and anywhere you can be an advocate for the group or for the cause. And third, which is really important, is maybe consider giving back and being public about it, your give back. And the give back would be potentially giving a portion of your commissions uh, out of every closing, maybe commit to giving a little small percentage or a dollar amount to every uh, out of every closing to your cause and be public about it and tell your buyers and sellers that's what you're doing. Maybe add a page on your website about your cause so you're public and maybe a video explaining why you're so passionate about your cause. Here's an interesting statistic. 80% of all first-time millionaires uh, first were involved in a charity before they became a millionaire. Isn't that interesting? So really high-level people often end up starting their charity work before they become high-level people. What a great place to network and to meet people like yourself who are movers and shakers in the industry and are going to be big movers and shakers in the future. Hope this helps you. Have a great day, good selling. We'll see you next time over at eRealEstateCoach.com.